Hey, it's Monday, so it's time for Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. And we have high school and college hoops highlights and plenty of area wrestlers who showed out on the mats this weekend. So let's get into it, starting with Friday night's high school basketball slate. It was sort of a rough night for the Loco, with Battery Creek and Buford High both dropping the girls' and boys' games in their region openers. As North Charleston swept the Dolphins in the Palace and Phillip Simmons took down the Eagles on the road, setting up a key head-to-head matchup between the Crosstown rivals on Tuesday night in the Nest. Buford's own will have the live stream. Hilton Head Prep also dropped both ends against visiting Savannah Country Day in a loco homecoming for Hornets coaches Kenny Conroy and Mac Tamanen. Bridges Prep's boys even their region record with a solid 59-44 win over Bamberg Earhart, but the only other wins for the area on Friday came at the expense of loco rivals. The Cross Girls and Patrick Henry boys won big in a split on the farm, and the Colleton Prep girls and Thomas Hayward boys picked up wins in a region showdown. Speaking of showdowns, HHCA had a pair of them on Saturday, with the girls hosting powerhouse Greg Collegiate and the boys popping around the corner to the den to battle with the Bluffton Bobcats. Gray was able to grind out a 42-34 win over the Eagles despite 17 points from Tamiah Hutchinson, and the Bobcats rallied late to set up a fantastic finish in the nightcap. HHCA outscored Bluffton 16 to nothing in the first quarter, but the Bobcats chipped away and pulled back into it before Khalil Chaplin gets open in the corner for a game-winning buzzer beater, and the Eagles would get one more shot at it, but Caden Turner's shot is just off the mark as Bluffton escapes with a 42-40 victory over the Eagles in a battle. Hampton County swept visiting Whale Branch on Saturday night, including a 54-45 win in a matchup of two of the Locos' top boys' teams. And Patrick Henry finished off a road sweep at Andrew Jackson Academy when the boys pulled out a 76-72 overtime win for their second victory in two days. We have a busy slate of region games and loco on loco matchups coming Tuesday night, and we'll preview the biggest games and update the region outlooks around the loco on Monday night's Loco Sports Lowdown, and round up all the scores and stats Tuesday night on the Loco Hoops Report. Staying on the subject of hoops, the USCB Sandsharks hit the road for the first time in Peach Belt Conference play on Saturday and got a first-hand lesson in how difficult it is to win away from home in one of the top leagues in NCAA Division II. Clayton State swept the Sandsharks, winning the women's game 62-48 and taking the nightcap 98-86 to snap the USCB men's five-game win streak. We broke down the Sandsharks' first two Peach Belt contests and looked ahead to Wednesday's home game against Lander on a new episode of Sandshark Rewind on Sunday. Check it out on the Loco Media Network. And it was a busy weekend on the mats with wrestlers from the Loco competing all over the state. Battery Creek hosted the annual Coach Trap Duels, named to honor late Camillo Trapizano, a longtime coach at Battery Creek and Thomas Hayward. The host Dolphins knocked off Waccamaw in a thriller decided by tiebreaker criteria, while Bluffton topped Creek but lost to the Warriors, creating a three-way tie for the top spot in the standings, which went in the Bobcats' favor by virtue of their scoring the most team points head-to-head among the tied teams. Bridges Prep and John Paul II both had strong showings at the Raptor Rumble duels at Academic Magnet, as the host Raptors were the only team to take down either Loco squad. The Golden Warriors dropped their first match to Academic Magnet, but won four straight to claim third place, including a 42-36 victory over Stahl that was secured by unlikely pens from Brian Orta and Gavin Byrne. The Bucks were undefeated until falling 54-30 to the Raptors in the championship match after losing two wrestlers to injury earlier in the day. At the head of the class when it comes to loco wrestling are the May River Sharks, who fell one point shy of claiming the title at the 30-team Dreher Blue Devil Invitational, where Houston Rudisil and Will Morrow finished second, Dylan Seaman and Josh Echeverria placed third, and Marcus Folk, Gavin Sidkowski, and Bo Gwynn were fourth in their weight classes. We dug deeper into the results and took a look at the junior varsity and middle school state qualifier meets on a new episode of the Loco Grind presented by Reverend Wrestling Club. Dig in on the Loco Media Network. Join us for more local sports talk on the Loco Sports Lowdown at 10 p.m. tonight on the Loco Media Network on YouTube. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!